Steam Deck news. This is the Steam Deck. Ah, uh, our 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 front runner competitor here, R O G L I X. It's almost perfect, but there's one big thing that the Steam Deck does so much better. Let's see what the advantage is. And there's the culprit. There is that ally. Is it your ally? Is it mine? Well, it does Windows better. I'll tell you that. The problem is Windows 11 elim eliminates a number of shortfalls found on the Steam Deck, but it's just nowhere near as enjoyable to use on this type of small PC right now. A handheld needs to feel more like a console, less like a PC. The Steam Deck running on Steam OS 3 Linux presents its own issues. Anti-cheat software and the luck of Xbox Game Pass are two which crop up fairly regularly. And I agree, there are issues that exist that I wish didn't. But even on Linux, a huge portion of the Steam library is playable on the Steam Deck. And let's face it, that's where most of the PC games are anyway. While Steam Deck is leaps and bounds ahead of the ROG LIX or the Lenovo Legion Go, it's the UI and overall user experience. Steam OS 3 has been built and designed to act like games console first, PC second, while the, with the Windows machines. It feels like the reverse. Every aspect of the Steam OS is easily navigated with the built-in controller, touchpads, or the touch display. The ROG Ally X would certainly have benefited if it had a touchpad. Oh, it doesn't have a touchpad. Yes, the Steam Deck is a console through and through. It's actually a PC, but the majority of its users will probably never launch in a desktop mode. I wish the same were true of a Windows 11 handheld. It's still not perfect, um, but I I have accepted the LAX's ex existence because you know there had to be a competitor. It wasn't going to be like it wasn't going to be the uh, the Lenovo or some of the other ones I've seen. Um, I can't think of them right now. There's Win GP Win, and there's a, another one too, the Aya, the Aya Neo, I think. And then we got to see. What I think is going to happen, I told this before, but the Nintendo Switch, in order for it to be, it has to have a significant fraction. Let's say maybe 60% of what the Steam Deck does now, right? But more than, but maybe twice of what it does on its system. And then it's got to have the Wii U capabilities, meaning it's got to act as a second screen. So you could have two screens, the TV and the, and the new docking, con you dock it in, and then you can play the first and second screen. And it has to have the optional one screen like the Switch does. Joy-Cons, you can, you can put the Joy-Cons vertically or horizontally if you're going to do uh, two screens on the go. So we'll see how the new Switch or Nintendo. I call it the Nintendo because it's the ninth generation Nintendo system. Steam Deck or single board computer. What is this one? Let's find out. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> what did you do? With a number of repair-friendly companies entering the scene, we have gained motivation to dig deeper into the devices they build. Okay. All you need is a USB. So this is uh, one such secret was recently discovered by a Yeti, A-Y-E-I-T-S-Y-A-B-O-R-L-I, a Yeti Siaboli on Reddit. It turns out you can use the Steam Deck mainboard as a standalone CPU board for your device, no other parts required aside from cooling. All you need is a USB-C dock with charging input and USB video outputs, and you're set. It doesn't even need a battery plugged in. In, in essence, a Steam Deck motherboard is a small computer module with a Ryzen CPU and a hefty... Wait, wait, to ruin the magic here. And a hefty GPU. Add a battery if you want to work in a UPS mode. Put an SSD or even external GPU in the M2 port. With Wi-Fi antennas for wireless connectivity, there's a wide range of projects you can build. Each such finding brings us closer to the future of purple neon lights, where hackers can spend their evenings rearranging off-the-shelf devices into gadgets yet unseen. Of course, there's companies that explicitly want us to hack their devices in such a manner. If it's a bet that framework mode made to gain a strong foothold in the hacker community, for instance, this degree of openness and becoming a welcome trend, and it feels like we're only starting to explore everything we can build. For now, if your frameworks or Steam Deck screen breaks, you can always have the option to build something cool with it. I am not a computer hacker, so I will not be doing that. But if you want to, you can check it out. Uh, this is I'm not sure what the, what the title would be for this. Um, just check out Motherboard. Check out Mother Motherboard Steam Deck. And here's the biggest news you, you've been waiting for. How to play Roblox on the Steam Deck. So here we have the Roblox. I do not care about Roblox. I would rather play... Uh, 
I would rather play the the what is it the pop game than that pop Funko Fusion whatever the fuck it's called but um, playing Roblox on the Steam Deck via internet browser playing other titles on the Steam Deck via Heroic Game Launcher while there are several handheld handheld gaming launch handheld gaming consoles before the Steam Deck Valve managed to do the unthinkable by delivering a console that could play some of the trip best AAA titles unlike the Nintendo Switch the Steam Deck is versatile and capable enough to run titles like God of War. Forza Horizon 5, God knows I've, I've had so many updates to Forza Horizon 5, it's got to take up my uh, my system, and more. However, many people do not know they can play games that are not available on Steam, like Roblox. Roblox. The Steam Deck gives users access to their, to their Steam libraries, but Steam Deck owners do not know they can play games that are not accessible on Steam, like Roblox. Since many players do not know how to play Roblox on Steam Deck, this guide will cover everything. So, playing Roblox on the Steam Deck via your internet browser... If you want to play it, here's what you need to do. Jump on one foot. Give 100 bucks. Uh, Steam Deck on your... Switch on your Steam Decks. Uh, switch on and... Now you got to switch to desktop mode. Okay, so if you're in desktop mode on your Steam Deck, access, access the Discover Store and install a web browser if you haven't already. After installing Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome, access it. Visit the Roblox website to create an account or log in. Once you log in, you can play Roblox in the browser. So this is more like, uh, you know, go to the secret screen, press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, start. That's how easy this is. So once you once you enter the Konami code, you can you can do secret things. So, yeah, this should be fun. And uh, playing other titles via the, via the Heroic Games Launcher. So these are the other ones. Um, I'm not seeing anything I, I recognize. So I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, say Savage Planet. I don't know what that is. A lot of games even I don't know exist. If you want to play these games uh, on your Steam Decks, if you want to play games from other launchers like Epic Games, here's what you got to do. Go to desktop mode, access the Discover Store, and install Heroic Games Launcher. After the inst install installation is complete, press and hold the left trackpad to create a shortcut in gaming mode for uh, ease of access later. You can find the shortcut under non-Steam Games and Game Mode in the Light Start menu under Games. Access the, the HGL, the launcher, and sign into your account of choice. After following the on-screen instructions, your library tab will be updated with your existing games from all connected platforms. To install a game of choice, click on the game and follow the instructions provided. Interestingly, the installer, the installer will choose the best version of Wine. Wine? Like, not, not as in uh, BevMo. Grape Wine. Uh, best version of Wine for your game. However, you can change this later under Game Settings. The things I don't know. Now that you know how to play Roblox and other platforms for GOG and Epic Games, make the most of this information. So that's not too bad. I mean, you you, you that desktop mode's got to serve a good purpose. And yeah, you can emulate your games. This is the ultimate system. You know what I mean? You don't have to do like three or four cable hookups. Just take good care of your Steam Deck. Right now, there's there is the there's a the terabyte mode, terabyte model, the OLED. And we'll see how that goes, whatever one you have. One huge problem the Steam Deck has, nothing to do with the console. But what's the what, what's the problem? Handheld gaming has evolved to include portable PC libraries with titles like God of War and Elden Ring on devices like the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck's verified system helps players easily identify games tested to work without issue. So sometimes you may not have a game that's compatible. Concerns rose over theft due to the overly obvious packaging of the Steam Deck. Man, that's, yeah, those thefts. I'm glad I I still have my box, but shit. So you have the battery, the bat improving the screen, the battery. There's a lot of problems, and so I I guess it's the later systems you get, if they're better, if they work better. Um, I just have to be careful. Like I got stuck on Arkham Knight trying to pull the elevator, but then I can't get past. So I'm like, these dark games I'm not going to be playing for a while. Uh, players have also experienced and found several untested titles that would play at a decent quality on the device to expand further on the available catalog. So it's the, it's the battery power. It's the packaging of the, of the steam deck. I thought they said they were going to do a like in-store walk-in like sales of these things. The packaging is a problem and hopefully they can fix this. They got to fix the packaging. So these little things they must fix. For the new Humble Bundle, Humble Bundle $419, uh, 
worth so you're getting 18 Steam Deck compatible Lego games worth $419 for only $15. So let's find out what the games are. Uh Worlds Collide Bundle. Okay, let's find out. Do we get the lists? Okay, so here we go. So this is the lists. Uh, here's the complete list of games included in the Worlds Collide Bundle and their Steam Deck compatibility status. Okay. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 verified. Uh, DC Super Villains is playable. I already have it for the Switch. Batman 3 Beyond Gotham is playable. Uh, Jurassic World Star Wars The Force Awakens is verified. Lego Worlds is unsupported but reportedly works fine. You'd figure the you figure worlds because you see Lego Worlds at Target for a cheap price. Uh, the Incredibles is unsupported but reportedly works fine. Lego, the movie video game one and two are verified. Lego Marvel's Avengers is playable. Batman Two DC Superheroes unsupported but works fine. Hobbit, Harry Potter five through seven years. Uh, Ninja Go video game. Marvel Superheroes. Batman the video game. Lord of the Rings. Harry Potter one through four. Uh, only these are verified and playable, but Lord of the Rings is unsupported. Uh, 85% off coupon for the Skywalker saga verified. So I know verified. I think that one's verified for sure. Uh, the only ones that have trouble right now is Lord of the Rings and Batman 2, The Incredibles, Worlds. But the other ones are verified playable. Playable means that you can that it will probably switch to the keyboard for default. So you need to install a keyboard, but you can you could go to a menu I think uh, before you start the game and try to see if you can um, switch to controller. If, if it's verified, you don't have to do anything. You just start playing. You pick up and play. Other ones you have to change it. I think with Sonic Two, uh, Sonic Adventure Two, I had to go and switch over from keyboard to to controller. Genki save point is like a modern day memory. So Genki has a memory card for your Steam Deck, iPhone, and more. I don't know what this thing does. Um, the save point is a gaming SSD that offers up to two terabytes of storage as compatible with a wide range of devices, including carrying up to two terabytes for your favorite games wherever you go. We've come a long way since Steve Jobs. Uh, it says Genki. Introduce a thousand songs in your pocket. Okay. Connected to your device using a USB-C cable, SavePoint grants instant access to oodles of storage, but it has other advantages too, such as offering a way of running alternative gaming op gaming operate operating systems for your Steam Deck, for example. So let's see what the Steam Deck does. So two terabytes. Oh my gosh. So I know it's not going to be cheap. Uh, what is this shit? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, enhancing Windows for your Steam Deck might seem unconventional, but it brings a host of advantages, adds Genki. With SavePoint, you can enjoy the best of both worlds by keeping SteamOS eternally and having the flexibility to have a, broker, a broader range of platforms and compatible games. With the, in the same way, you can run SteamOS on non-Steam gaming uh, handhelds. Uh, 10.11. So SavePoint, you can boot, your, boot into SteamOS without having to touch your handheld's main OS installation. So this is the Steam Point stuff. These are these things here. Uh, might be useful. Uh, so that's... I'm interested in the 2 terabyte stuff. So do they tell us what it costs? Let's see. Two, 2230 SSD up to 2 terabytes of storage. Uh, let's see what it says. Oh, here we go. Uh, the Save Point starts at $49.99 for the DIY model. Kickstarter is $39. Uh, you can supply your own internal storage. So what is the two terabyte? Fuck, two forty nine ninety nine for the two terabyte. Well, we'll we'll hold off on that. The the best thing about these about these terabyte gigabyte uh external drives, that they're not going to be that way for too long. Okay, you can get SD cards in the meantime, but a two terabyte model at a hundred at a hundred dollars or below in the next few years, that won't be so bad. I mean, how much, how much games do we need anyway? How many games do we need? How much, you know? Uh, other news, Samsung finally has one terabyte micro SD cards. Valve now updating SteamOS to support popular deck HD screens replacement. Others may follow. So for this one's a few days old, but it's uh, uh, D deck HD up Steam Deck LCD resolution to 1200 pixels. Uh, when you purchase through links, okay, so imagine integrating these particles or patches. Let's see. 
So let's see. Uh, gigabytes. Deck HD helped alleviate these color re reproduction issues with or without the help of self -mo soft modding. Though its 1200 part pixel target resolution was less ideal for native resolution gaming and 3D titles. Though realistically, you should be using resolution scaling on these hands handhelds and 3D titles anyway. Okay, so there's there's more to come, but um, yeah, that would be great to, to upgrade to 1200 to get more for your screen. So... These days, Deck HD's uh, estimate has been up, uh, has been adjusted to eighty seven percent sRGB, which is still pretty good. Uh, so yeah, more to follow. Yeah, that'd be great. So there's more stuff. That, people are hooking us up. I mean, you could go anywhere. That's the thing. It's like you have to buy Nintendo's peripheral stuff. Nintendo, can, you could you could charge. You could take the USB A cord or USB-C for your phone and just charge your, your Nintendo Switch. Sony in, insists upon peripheral stuff. That's what pisses me off. It's like, you have to use these earbuds or these uh, Bluetooth technology with this thing, with that thing, with this SD card. That's how the, the PS Vita fucking died. You know, so progress, progress, progress with third parties, I say. <laughs>